All right, so I'm looking at this uh, train RTHC. Uh, I was here yesterday, put a new float switch on it. Um, that primary pump was cavitating and we weren't getting much of water flow. So some contractors have just installed that and they didn't put any uh, bleed ports on the top of the pump. So they got air trapped in it got that bled out, put a new float switch on it, uh, it was pretty rusted out. So we know we're good there. It wasn't uh, starting yesterday because it was waiting for need to pool. Back today, and we have another diagnostic high pressure cutout shrimp. So let's see what this is about. All right, so I come over here to my drive with the tower fan, no display, the other drive display seems to be working, and uh, so let's open this up, let's see if we got power here, let's go under here, there we go, 478, 478, So we got power here to the drive. And I got this powered back on. I'm just gonna make sure we got power coming out. 480. One and two. I got 477. And uh, one and three. Seventy-six. So that's power going up to the drive. I see we got a fuse in here. Check that. Looks like a one and a half amp. So all right, we got a blown fuse there. So maybe we just. I, I see it's been damaged. Uh, they recently just installed an air handler overhead. Uh, these are contractors been doing this and this was a little busted. So might have took a blow. All right, let me get a fuse and we'll swap that out. All right, so I didn't have a one and a half. I had a one amp fuse. So I went ahead and changed that out. Power still low. We'll put the cover back on this and Started from the disconnect to the other end. So, I don't want any explosions if I can help it. Alright, so I got the power off of the disconnect uh, in the motor control center, so you guys can sit here and watch while I go reset that. If it explodes, let me know.
how this contract was installed. This. So I've got uh, some valves and nipples ordered for this. Hopefully it'll restart now. But they've been changing air handlers around the facility, so I'm um, not surprised there's air in the system. Alright, let's try this again. We're resetting. Operator pump is on, waiting for me to cool. We have cold water. Okay. Alright, I may have to shut this other chiller off just to warm it up a little. Alright, so we're changing gears here. I uh, decided to come up on top of this tower and check the motor and the wiring. Because I had no blow fuses and the disconnect out here. Good job.